Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all had a great week. Uh, so this week we're going to finish off our painting. I hope everyone was able to complete their background. And today we're just going to paint the tree. So a lot less uh, color mixing and a lot more brush work. So let's get right into it. I'll give you guys a minute to get set up. We're going to be doing the same supplies that we've been using. So I'll skip that part. Um, yeah, once you're ready, let's get right into painting. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our color for the tree. We're gonna mix our base color and we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the entire shape of the tree. Um, and then we'll go on top of that with some shadows and highlights uh, and we'll put some snow on top of it. And then at the very end, we'll add all of our snowflakes. So uh, let's get to that part. We're gonna mix our first color. So I wanna do, um, not a black, I want to do like a dark purple kind of color. So that's the color we're going to mix. So we're going to need uh, red, blue, black, and a little bit of white. So let's get those three, those four colors on our palette. Okay, so let's get our colors. I will start with some blue. We don't need too much blue. Okay, and then we'll get the red. No, this one's done. Let's use this one. Let's get the red. Uh, a little bit more red than blue. And then we're going to get some black. Once again, we don't need too much because black is very strong. And then a little bit of white. And... We're just gonna add that white to it, um, just to uh, make it a little bit more opaque. So what I'll do is I'm gonna start by creating a purple and then we're gonna darken that up. So I'll start with my red. Let's move some over. We can keep some for later when we do the highlights. And then we're gonna start with, we're gonna add some blue to that. So I'm not adding tons of blue, but more than I normally would. So about half blue, um, to one part red and you can see it's already a pretty dark color it's hard to actually tell that that's purple but that is purple so what I'll do is I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this now so about you know a quarter white compared to the red and now you can see that it's starting to look a little bit more purple but I want it to also be dark so if I put this on my page, you guys can't see. Um, actually, well, no, we'll add a little bit of black. That looks good, but I want to add a little bit of black. So let's add a little bit of black to that as well. And this is the thing when you're mixing paints or uh, figuring out colors. It's always a different um, experience and you're always going to... Um, kind of experiment in different ways and colors are always going to look a little different so 
That's cool. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit on my paper and that looks good to me. So once again, the color that we're gonna mix is gonna be a dark purple. We're gonna start with our red. We're gonna put, let's say one part red, half blue, and then a quarter white, and then a little bit of black. And that should give us a nice dark purple. <clears throat> So now, as you can see, I already marked off, uh, I was testing out the paint, so I already have some dabs of that purple there. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know if you've left some white space or if you've left this shape. If you have, then the first step is we can just fill that in. If not, what you wanna do is we're basically gonna create, just imagine you're making a rectangle, but an imperfect rectangle. So you want the edges to be curved, and you want some uh, the lines to kind of you know um, not be straight not be perfectly symmetrical so we'll go ahead and do that so I'm just gonna start by filling this shape in we'll come back and add some roots later but for now it's just basically starting the shape and I believe a few weeks ago or a month ago we did uh, another practice where we painted a tree so we're basically gonna be recapping that whole process. So just go ahead, take a minute, fill in the trunk. Like I said, once again, it's just a rectangle, an imperfect rectangle. And um, I actually am gonna widen out the base because typically you want the bottom of the tree to be thicker than the top. So I just noticed my, the top of my tree trunk was a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna widen that up. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. And once we have that, we can start adding our branches. So for the branches and whenever we're painting a tree, um, as you recapped, we're gonna try to follow a structure and kind of a pattern, but they're all gonna be different. And that's a great thing with trees is that it's gonna be unique to how you paint it, how you draw it. Um, but there is kind of an underlying formula that we wanna take. So in this picture that I'm looking at, the tree kind of divides into four main branches that come out. Um, now you could do it any way that you like. You could divide it into two, into three. We're just gonna kind of mimic what they have here. Uh, so we'll just start kind of dividing that into four branches. So just imagine that you're painting four fingers. Imagine you just have four fingers that are gonna come out, uh, pretty much exactly like how my hand is. And, uh, and that'll give us the, our first main big branches and roots. And just the thing is, just remember that as you're creating that line, you wanna just always make sure that you curve it in some sort of way. Um, you don't want a straight line because trees don't grow like that and it won't look as realistic. So you always wanna just kinda give it a little bit of a curve. So I'll start on the right side and we're gonna create our first branch. We're gonna make it come out this way a little bit uh, we're gonna make it come out to the right side of the page. So I'll start here, and I don't wanna do too dramatic of a curve, but as I come out, I'm just gonna curve it a little bit. And you can see with my brush, I'm just kinda creating this little wavy pattern, and then I'll come out a little bit. And that's it, that's good. Um, now I kinda used my brush and tapered it off and kinda thinned out the line as I went. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do that yet because we're gonna we're gonna go with a smaller brush later on and add the details. But basically, you just want to create that first line, your first little finger of the tree, and that's good. So, take a minute, create your first line. Next one, we're gonna come right next to that, 
and this one we're gonna go straight up a little bit and then a little bit to the right so notice same thing I'm just kind of um, making my line a little swiggly a little curved those little little details will make an a noticeable difference in how our tree looks so I got my second one and then the third one same thing okay and then I'll just quickly do the fourth and then I'll give you guys a minute so for the fourth one we're gonna come out to the left and I'm actually gonna go off the page so go right over right over the edge of your page go right off the page and now we have our the foundation of our tree so like I said imagine you have your tree trunk and four fingers so take a minute and finish that off and then we're gonna start dividing the branches Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go and start dividing the branches. Now, these two in the middle, because um, I guess they're, they're bigger branches, they're gonna divide off a little bit more than this one will, and same with this one. So um, we can, uh, these ones might divide into three each, whereas this might divide into one or two smaller branches this way. So let's start with, We'll start with the right one again. And like I said, uh, this one, I'm not gonna divide it too much. I'll start by just creating one division. So the trunk comes out, it splits up into four, and now as I move, at some point within this curve, I'm gonna branch out and create another line. So for this one, just one. And what I'll do is I'll actually start, I'll start following the line I already made, and then at the curve, I'll kind of come out, and then just create same kind of curved swiggly line and end it in about the same sort of distance so you can see what we want to do is we want to create that shape that kind of uh, circular shape with the tips of our branches so there we go now what I'll do is I won't add the details yet but for the big branches for this one that's done so we'll jump to the next one and this one, I'm going to divide this up into three. I'm going to first start with the one we already created. And I'm just going to extend that out a little bit. Because I want to fill this area over here. So start with the one you just made and extend that out a little bit. Okay. And then right where I just extended it, I'm going to add the second branch. So same concept, just swiggly kind of line, moving upwards now. And then for the third one, I'm gonna come lower into the branch. So I have the division here, but I'm gonna create another division down here. So I'll start once again, I'll kind of follow my line and then right around there, I'll start creating that line. And then that one will go kind of more straight up. And you can see I'm already filling in uh, the shape of the tree branches. So I'll give you a minute and just work on these two branches first. The one on the right, we're going to only split into two. This one, we're going to split into three. Okay, I'm almost running out of paint, so we'll do two more and then we'll mix some more paint. So let's just finish this off. So for this one, I'll, I can just split this up into two. I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to continue this one a little bit because I kind of, uh, you have to still shape it. So just continue and extend the one you just did, that line, and just try to taper it off at the, at the tip. And maybe I should explain how I'm doing that. So as you, if you watch my brush, as I kind of move up, 
I'm using the flat side of my brush and then as I get closer to the tip I kind of churn my brush a little bit um, and use the narrower side so before I'll be using the white side and as I go up I kind of churn it a little bit and use the more narrow side so that's good I have that and then for the last one on the left I'll do one more so this one already goes off the page I don't need to extend that and now right around halfway work my way up and then go right off the page again make sure you got enough paint all right so go off the page again and you can see already I'm starting to get the essential shape and foundation of a tree So I kind of finished all my paint here, so I want to mix a little bit more. If we still have some left, you can skip this step. If not, you can do it with me. So I'm just going to move the rest of this red over. And then once again, add some blue. Uh, so about half as much blue. And then same thing with the white. A quarter white and then a little dab of black. And then let's mix all that up. Make sure you add a little bit of water. Now, as I've mentioned before, all paints are different. All brushes are different. So how much water your paint needs, um, it really depends on the paint. So you just have to kind of get a feel for it. So that's good. I have my color. I have more of that. And we can get started on creating the more detailed branches now. All right, and now for this, I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush. So if you do have a smaller brush, uh, use that one. And I wanna create smaller branches, so I need a smaller brush now. All right, so let's go. And basically what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take every branch that we created and we're just gonna create a few more divisions for each. Um, you can just, basically follow the formula of like each branch divided into two or you could also you know occasionally add a third one or sometimes even skip one it just sometimes nature is more chaotic and random and that's you know if you if you if you make it too structured it might not look realistic so what i'll do is i'll start with the one the furthest one to the right so once again i'm going to take my brush i take the paint i start with uh, where I already have the tree trunk painted. I'm just gonna kind of follow that line and I'm gonna add a smaller one here. Okay, so we have that. And just touch this up a little bit. Make these tips a little bit more narrow now. So I have that, that's good. And then maybe over here I'll do one more as well. So I just kind of took this branch, split it up into two. And then I want to take this branch now and split that up into two. And I always like to, like I said, start on the paint, start with the, uh, start on the branch, and that way you can just flow right into it, and it gives you a nice cleaner line. Okay. So I divided that into two. I'm gonna do a small one for this one, just to come down a little bit. So. Once again, I'll start in the tip of the branch, I mean on the base of the branch, and I'll just come out a little bit. And this one, I'm gonna kind of make it come more downwards, make it a little funkier. Um, just trying to create that shape, that circle. So that's good. And then let's just move on to the next branch. And we're gonna do the same thing, essentially for all of these. Um, also, don't be afraid to overlap. So far, we haven't overlapped any of these branches but don't be afraid if they overlap. You don't want them to be all um, static and not touching. So, so I took this one, we're gonna come 
follow that line and then I divided it over here did a little bit of an overlap now let's come to the top one I'm going to extend that up a little bit and now I'm going to divide each of these in two again so I'll start with following this line I'll come down here there's one and then this one I'm going to divide that somewhere I think I'll divide this one going up and did a little bit of overlap there and that's good now I'm also noticing that this area is very blank so I have lots of branches here branches happening here but nothing here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a few small branches here so I'll come along I'll do a little one here along the tip of that trunk and then maybe just divide that once and then come even a little bit further down and just do a small one like it's a little branch that's about to grow give it a little divide and that's it that's perfect so you see how I just took that one branch divided into two and then divided that into two divided that into two I'm basically just dividing everything into two and then I noticed I had some empty space so fill that in just create a little branch there I don't need to do the exact same structure of like you know creating a big branch and dividing it off I can do a small one another small one there and it's slowly starting to fill in so I'll give you guys a minute finish off your first branch and that's pretty much you know as far as we're gonna go with the number of branches we're gonna add so that's almost essentially done so take a minute finish off your first branch to the right of the tree Okay, so now we're just gonna do the same thing. I just quickly added one here before I turn on the camera, so that's why that's there. Uh, so we're just gonna do the same thing now. Uh, we're gonna follow this branch. We're gonna divide that into two. Then we'll come to this one, divide that into two, and then start just kind of figuring out where we have empty space and we need to create more branches. So like I said, I accidentally started this without pressing record. That's why this branch magically appeared but I'll go over it again so follow your line and then over here we're gonna add the next branch good and then we're gonna come back to where we did the original one and just extend that a little bit and that's great and now we need to obviously divide those and add more branches so on uh, the one that we just painted I'm gonna come and somewhere down here I'm gonna extend that create another branch and then even extend that one as well so divide that one as well and then divide this one as well so you can see we started with one I divided it into two then divided that into two and then divided that into two as well now I can see once again some empty space happening here these these branches are not connecting so I'm actually going to come and add another branch right down here that's going to help me fill this space. So I'm going to come up from, you know, where my tree trunk is thicker. I'm going to create a line here. Don't worry about going over the other branches. And then, oops, okay. So create that line. And then divide that. And then divide the one I just made and then maybe make one more and now it's starting to look okay it's starting to get a little busy there so I think that's good I'm not gonna mess with that too much I covered the tip of this branch so I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit that's good and then I see over here there's some empty space I'll just touch that up too okay so you can see wherever you feel like 
it's empty and you need to add another branch you can just add a random branch okay so we finished that one now let's go and do the exact same thing for this branch up here so following along with the lines divide that into two my paint's drying up a little bit so if you feel like your paint's not flowing nicely just add some water to it so i divide that into two just touch this up and then we're going to do the same thing i'll do one division here one over here and then just for fun we'll add one over there and you can see now i'm starting to really get that shape the tree shape is starting to form um and that's perfect good so now i'm just gonna this area is once again a little empty i'm gonna add more branches there but i'm just gonna add one more smaller one coming out over here and i'm not gonna do too many i'm just gonna add one and then divide it into two and then that's it so that's it for that one and i'll give you guys a minute to finish that off Add some more water to my paint. I might have to mix some more before this is done. I got some still. Okay, so let's jump to the next branch. So same thing, once again, same formula each time. We come up the branch, we're gonna do a division. We're gonna turn that one branch into two. And these I'm gonna start going right off the page now, right off to the top. And then same thing over here. So now I have two. And now I need to divide those as well. So I can take the one I just created to the left, divide that one into two, take this one as well, divide this into two. And right over here, where once again I have some empty space, I'm just gonna create a branch, come out here, and then maybe divide that into two again. So perfect. I'm good with that and I think I don't I'm not gonna add anything else yet because I still have to add more branches here we can come back later on and touch up any area that we need so I'll do this one before I give you guys a minute so once again I'm gonna start branching it out maybe I'll start branching out over here I'll create a smaller branch because I know I'm gonna want to fill the space so I didn't, I didn't make a massive one, I just created a smaller one, divide that into two, and that's fine for that area. Maybe I'll just add another one there, perfect. And now we're gonna add the bigger one, so I'm gonna follow this contour and then come right up off the page, making a swiggly line each time, and then the one that we already had, just gonna extend that out, and finish it off. And now for each of these, once again, we're gonna do that same division divide into two right off the page and then divide this into two and then divide this into two and this one as well and I can see over here it looks a little kind of like all the branches are going in one direction so I'm just gonna add a small one here go off the page and there we go so I just added a few more over there and I think that's pretty good. I see once again a lot of empty space here. So instead of adding a massive trunk, I'm just going to add a little branch, a little growing branch. Divide that up, give it another divide and that's good. And we have most of our tree done. So take a minute, I'm going to have to mix some paint. So finish this off and then we'll mix some more paint.
So if you have paint still, you have enough left, you can skip this, keep working on your tree. I need to make more. I am out of red, so I'm just gonna add some more red. I have blue and black and white already, so that's good. I'm just gonna add a bunch of water to this because it's all dried up. And then I'm just gonna move my red in. Take some blue, about half as much blue, a dab of white, and a dab of black. Mix it all up. Now, like I said, we're gonna add some more, um, we're gonna add some snow and some sh uh, highlights and stuff onto our tree. So if your purple color isn't exactly the same, it's fine, it's not gonna be noticeable. So that's good, I'm ready to paint. All right. Same formula, same thing. Um, we're kind of almost full of, uh, like we don't have too much empty space left. So I don't need to add as many branches for these two. So what I'll do is uh, I'll follow this line, I'll come up and right around there, I'll create the next branch, go all the way off the page. Same thing with the one that we already had, just kind of finish that one off. And then I'm gonna divide these into two as well. So I'll start with the one on the left. Divide that into two. Come back to this one we just did, divide that into two. And at this point it's getting a little busy and a little chaotic up there. So that's fine, I don't need to do any more. Uh, I've established the texture and the feel and the shape already. So we're gonna jump to this one on the left here. So once again, I'll just follow that line, divide. And there's not really much more, like I can kind of extend, it's already getting cropped off. So what I'll do is I'm actually just gonna extend this one out, just to start filling that space over here. And because I have this empty space, I'm gonna come a little further down in the tree trunk and then add a little branch, a new growing branch, just divide it into two. And that fills that space for me, and that's perfect. All right. And then our final branch, our main artery, our first of the four fingers that we painted. Uh, so once again, I don't need to do too much. I want to already fill this space. I can already see it's empty. So I'm just gonna create one. And what I'll do is this one's just gonna disappear behind this branch. So I just want to fill the space and it's fine. I don't need to draw it all the way out. It disappears and your eye will never be able to tell. So that one's good. For the top, I'll come divide this into two again. I don't wanna make it too busy here, and then maybe one more there. It's pretty much good. And then for the last little one, uh, I don't really need to do too much because it's all essentially cropped off. So I'll just create a little branch coming out, and then maybe another one coming down, and then one coming up. And that's it, that's good. So I'll give you guys a minute to finish that off. And we've essentially got the shape of our tree. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, refine some of these lines and do some touch-ups and then we'll jump into our highlights and snow. So take a minute and finish that off. All right, so now that we have our overall shape of the tree, 
Now this is where we're gonna really come in, do those nice touch-ups and refine the shape. So remember, trees, as they grow, as the branches grow, they're always more narrow at the tips and thicker at the base. So what I wanna do now is these main branches that we created, I wanna thicken them up. I wanna make sure that the width at the bottom is thicker than the width at the top. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna come down and follow this line and as I get closer to the base, I'm just gonna move away and thicken it up. Okay, so really at this point, we're just gonna, we're thickening the base of each of these branches. You don't need to add too much more to the top. Same thing over here. You can see that this branch is the same thickness from right here where it divides from the main trunk to over here where it really divides, starts to uh, spread out. So I wanna thicken that line up. So I'm just gonna come along the base of that. Little touch up here, a little one on the other side. So, and you can see it already is starting to make a difference in terms of how that shape looks and it starts to feel more like a tree and more realistic. So those two are good. This one's fine, I don't need to do too much to it. It's already, kind of already have that effect. And then this one, pretty much the same thing. I don't need to really thicken that one up too much. I'll just maybe thicken it up a little bit. And now I have, you can see a nice variety in the thickness and that's great, that's perfect. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna do, so I'll give you guys, sorry, I'll give you guys a minute and just finish that off. Thicken out your main branches, make them thicker at the base where they connect to the trunk of the tree and thinner at the top. All right, now that we're done that, we're gonna do some few little touch-ups and basically, I'm gonna step back and it always helps to step back a little bit and just to see where I feel like the spacing is off and uh, there's like some blank space I need to fill. So over here, there's a little bit, we don't have to fill every single blank space, but if I just add a little branch there, divide it up, it kind of eliminates that keeps that pattern same thing over here I think this one I want to just add a few more branches to it just to fill that area in maybe thicken this one up a little bit okay and then over here maybe I'll thicken this one up let it disappear behind the other branch and then maybe add a little little branch right there so basically at this point we're just doing touch-ups to our branches. So this is where I want you guys to use your discretion, uh, use your judgment, look at your painting, see how it feels, and uh, go from there. And the beautiful thing with painting trees is that once you get this overall structure, it's really simple and it's really gratifying and satisfying. Um, you know, if you're anything like me, I love painting trees. It's one of my favorite things to paint. I could do this for days and it's really satisfying. So um, now one more touch up I'm gonna do is around the edge here. So my shape, it feels a little, a little flat over here. It feels like there's almost like an invisible line. So what I wanna do is I wanna break that up a little bit. Like I said, in nature, things aren't always smooth and perfect. They're a little chaotic. You're gonna have one or two branches that are gonna stick out a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that, stick one out. Um, same thing over here, just kind of break up that line, that invisible line. Same thing over here. Uh, okay, make this one longer. Yeah. So literally just doing some touch-ups. And that's good. So I have some, there we go. So you can see just kind of broke it up, I don't have that invisible line anymore 
I have some that are longer, some branches are longer, some branches are shorter. And uh, I think that's it for the shape of the tree. So go ahead and take a second to finish that off. Do your touch-ups. We'll do a little bit of adjustment to the trunk um, next. And then our tree, essentially the shape is done. So just finish up your touch-ups. Okay, so now we're done that. So I'm just gonna add some, uh, add a little bit more, uh, add some roots essentially to our tree trunk. It's a little flat right now, so I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna come out a little bit, very little, pretty much like you're painting a trunk. Sorry, you're painting a branch. And just start creating a little bit of these shapes to show that there's roots, but they're also, you know, mostly covered in snow, so we don't need to do too many. That's it. That's good. Now my trunk is good. My tree is good. And at this point, uh, we can start doing some of those highlights and then adding some snow. <clears throat> So for the highlights, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this color that I have and I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter. Uh, if you don't have that color, take a minute and just remix them. And this time just add more white. So since I have this color, I'm just gonna take some of my white and I'm just gonna add another dab of white. And I want it to be a little bit lighter, noticeably uh, a few shades lighter. But I don't want it to be super light yet because we're going to do that for the snow. So these are kind of the highlights and they add a little bit of texture to our tree. So that's perfect. It's about two or three shades lighter than the color we were just using. And that'll do just fine. So for this to add the texture, we're gonna use the dry brush technique a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wash my brush a little bit. I'm using the bigger brush now. Just wash it, dry it off, uh, wipe it on a paper towel. And then I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna use very little paint. So once again, I dried it off. I just kinda, you can run your hand through your brush and um, just split the bristles a little bit. And I'm just gonna use a little, very tiny amount of paint on the tip of the brush. Just gonna dab a little bit. And you wanna make sure it's not too much paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and create some streaks to everything's gonna be to the right side of each branch. So uh, imagine there's light coming from over here or from you know where the yellow is, the light's coming this way and uh, it's laying up this side okay so I'll make one right along the trunk at the bottom and this is kind of like random just adding some lines and just blending it a little bit and I'm doing that by just not having too much paint on my brush so same thing again just dip the tip a little bit of paint and then I'm gonna come and follow this line. I'm just gonna do this along the main branches. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Some of the main ones. And then just kind of blend it in. So once again, not too much paint. Sticking to the right side of the, bran uh, the branches and the tree trunk. And I'm just going up the main branches and the main arteries. I'm not doing all of them. 
And then once I have that, I'm just gonna give it a little dry brush. Just a little bit of paint. Same thing here. Same thing here. And then that's it. That's good. Blend that in. Dip, dip, dip. Very little. Same thing, just kind of blend, blend, blend. And it blends like this because I don't have too much paint. If I had too much paint, I'll be filling in that whole space. So once again, watch what I'm doing. I'm just taking the tip of my brush. I already cleaned it. I washed it. I dried it. I'm taking just the tip, dipping it into a little bit of paint, and then just adding these streaks. Uh, make sure your tree is dry, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Make sure it's dry because if it's not, then it's all going to blend together. And then I have a little bit of paint here. And because I don't have too much paint on my brush, if I just kind of go over that line, you can see it smudges it a little bit and creates that uh, blending effect, which is exactly what I want. I'm just going to do one more kind of a um, little bit on the trunk. It's a little, you know, a little too dark on the left side. So I'm just going to add a few random streaks to give it some texture and then smudge that perfect okay so take a minute and just add those uh highlights and they're gonna on the camera you might not see um you might not see the difference but uh in person it really adds a lot of texture to the tree it gives them more form um, and it makes our painting look that much nicer. So go ahead and finish that off. And now we are ready for the snow. So snow is white. So I'm just going to take some white. And that should be enough. But I'm actually going to add a tiny little bit of black. I don't want it to be pure white. Uh, because it's just going to be um, too strong of a contrast. So I'm going to just make it an off white. And the way I'm going to do that is, remember, uh, the darker the color, the stronger. So I need to add almost a pinprick of black. So very little black, as you can see, very, very little black on my brush. And I'm just going to mix that into my white. And it should just make it slightly gray. So make sure you add very, 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 very little black at a time. Otherwise, it's going to turn into a gray and we don't necessarily want that. So, like I said, on the camera, you num might not be able to notice the difference of that. But it's a very, very light gray or an off-white. And that's the color that we want. All right, and this is gonna be the last color that we're gonna mix, and it's the last one that we're gonna need. So this this painting that I'm looking at doesn't necessarily have too much snow on the tree trunks, but we're gonna add a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I want you to actually envision snow coming down straight from the top, and wherever it comes down, uh, where is that snow gonna sit? Where is that snow gonna actually land? So you're not going to necessarily get snow along these vertical branches because it has nowhere to sit. You are going to get snow on the horizontal branches. So these areas, the snow will sit on those. These areas, the snow will sit. So we're going to go through this entire tree, all the trunks, and anywhere where you can envision the snow falling and sitting, that's where we're going to add snow. 
So a lot of these vertical ones along the top, I'm not gonna have too much uh, snow there, but definitely on the edges, I'm gonna have a lot more snow. So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna use my smaller brush and we're gonna kind of do a similar thing to what we did for the highlights. I don't wanna use too much paint here. I don't wanna put on thick, um, thick blobs of paint. Snow is supposed to be fluffy, it's supposed to be light. So once again, I dry my brush off. I'm gonna use a little bit of paint <clears throat> on the tips of it. And then I'm just gonna kinda come along the top of these branches in the areas where I feel like the snow will fall and sit. So this one right here, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of in between that line. So you want it to kind of cover half the sky, half the background of the sky and half the tree trunk. And I'm just doing these little tiny dabs and you can see where I see the branch going up. I'm not gonna put too much snow. Come back here, then all along there. On this tip right here, there's a little bit of snow there. Okay, so over here. And now we can actually dis use the snow to distinguish which branch is in front of which one. So by leaving that gap in between this, I've established that that branch that I just added the snow to is behind this branch right here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna come along <clears throat> all the way down this branch. And you can see, I can tell that branch is in front, that one's behind. So let's go ahead and keep doing that. Too much paint. So I put too much paint and it's like a blob. I don't want that. I want it to be kind of transparent, flaky. And then even on this branch, I'm not gonna necessarily start at the tip because it's kind of a little vertical. So I'm gonna come down here and I'll leave that area. And then I can't really put too much here. Maybe a little bit right there, a little bit there. There we go. So let's just keep going. Dab, dab, dab. I'll put this branch, yeah, this one's up front. Okay. And then let's just keep going. We might not get all of them because it might be too many branches. But we can do as many as we feel we need to. Get a little bit there. There we go. Let's do this one. This one's in front. Sure. So as the branch starts to move up, I stop with the snow. And then as it, that's pretty much all moving up. There's a little spot here. <clears throat> it gets horizontal. I add a little dab. So same thing here. This one's horizontal. Add some dabs. So this little branch here is going downwards. I'm not gonna add any, maybe a little bit at the tip, but definitely not the whole thing. And the same thing here. It's good. Once again, make sure you're not using too much paint. A little bit of paint, snow's gonna come here. It's gonna get trapped in that corner. A little bit's gonna get trapped in that corner. And a little bit's gonna get trapped here. And that's good. All right. So this branch is behind that branch. So if a branch is behind, just make sure you use the snow to uh, illustrate that. All right. The most important thing with painting is patience. If you wanna rush it and just finish it, um, you're never gonna get that same result you will if you take your time and enjoy the process. That's the whole point of it, right? It's supposed to be fun, so. This is the type of stuff that you can really get lost in and just take your time and zone out a little bit, so, okay. 
And now you can see I did almost all of the branches on the right side. And as I get over here, it's going to be a lot less snow and then a little bit more over here. So let's find the areas. Where would snow typically land? It's going to be kind of in between these branches where they meet. It's going to be a little pockets of snow in these areas. Maybe some of these tips and then like little spots like this. Maybe some there. Maybe a little bit there. So all the kind of where the branches divide, there's always a little pocket for snow. Now I might miss some because there's a lot. That's okay. You don't need to get every single one of them. When you step back and look at it, you're just gonna get the the feeling of it. So I missed this little spot there. Da, 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 da. That looks pretty good. Oh, I missed one there. Let's add that one. Great. Yep, that's good. I got most of these. Let's get these little pockets here. These little pockets here. These little pockets here. Okay, let's get And then now as I'm approaching the left side some of these branches I'm seeing here will have snow on it. So this one looks like it pretty much has snow on it. And then you see I kind of went over this branch that's crisscrossing here and I'm gonna go under this branch. So I'm creating these layers now. All right, that's pretty good. I may get a little bit here. Some there for sure. Some over here. And then once again, the left side, these branches will definitely have some snow on them. And as we come up here, little pockets, little pockets. Something here, little pockets. Okay, I think that's it. So take a few minutes and finish that off. Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty much done. All right, final step is we're gonna add some snowflakes. So I don't wanna do too many. Um, just because I already have such nice uh, kind of texture and rhythm with the snow on top of the tree trunks, uh, on top of the tree branches, sorry. Um, but I wanna show that snowing, so we're gonna add a few. So I'm gonna use uh, the smallest 
brush I have with a fine tip um, and I'm just literally gonna dip my brush in the paint and I'm gonna press very gently you don't want big dots I want small dots so I'm gonna press very gently and I'm gonna try to do it in as random of an order that I can try not to space it out evenly because our tendency when we're doing something like this is to space every single one out evenly and then it, it, it takes away from that effect so I'm gonna put a bunch together in a small area and then skip some space and that way it just looks a little bit more natural because it's random um, and you could also play with the size a little bit I don't want you to make too many big ones but you can make a few kind of bigger dots and then make uh, the rest of them pretty small so you can see I'm just some areas I want to put lots some areas I want to do a few and we're gonna actually do it um, we'll keep most of the sky we'll keep most of the snow uh, in the sky we'll do a few maybe a few over the mountains I'm not actually sure yet I want to see how the sky is gonna look and then uh, we won't really do too much down here because it's already snow so I'll start with the background first and uh, this is the part of the painting where you just really have to like trust your guts and be brave and just go for it so now I kind of have most of my background done and I'm gonna put a few on top of the tree trunk to show that it's on top and then a few more in between so I was a little hesitant about adding all these snowflakes um, because I didn't want it to blend in too much with the snow that we have on our tree branches that's why I'm not putting too many on top of the small branches because we already have all this white snow on top of them I'm mainly filling in the background and then in, on top of some of the bigger branches so you see I'll do a few in this little spot here and then I'll leave some space empty so it's not too perfectly spaced out and um, let's do this okay it's looking good put one more in the corner here bunch there da 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 Okay, and I think we have to put a few over the mountains, logically, so we'll just do that. Just a few dabs, not too many, a few each. And then we can pretty much stop at that point. I'll put a few over the river. The rest you're not going to see, there's no point of adding white on top of white. Um, so there, and always the key, the trick. How you can tell if it looks good or not is to take a little step back and see if anything pops out at you. If there's an area that's too empty or if it's too full, it's too late. But if there's an area that's too empty, you can touch that up. So I see a little spot right here. I can use a few snowflakes. That's it. And I am good with that. So take a minute and just finish that off. Okay, so we are done and I absolutely love this painting before we finish though we have to do the most important thing and we have to sign it so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna use uh, you can sign your signature in any color traditionally people use black but I have this nice purple here and I was just using and it's gonna match the tree so I'm just gonna paint it in that purple if you have some left use that if not you can just use a little bit of black you don't need too much and traditionally the way I like to do uh, signatures some artists have massive signatures and they put a big signature in the bottom of their painting I like to keep my signature kind of small 
Uh, you can put it, typically you want to put it on the bottom. You can do the bottom left or right. I like to do the bottom right if I can, depending on what's in my painting. Um, and for a paper this size, this is a 11 by 14 inch paper. My signature is only going to be about an inch, inch and a half at most. So I don't want it to be too big, but it is going to make a nice little difference. So I'm going to do it in this corner and I like to be kind of quick and gestural with it and there's my signature and our painting is done all right everyone i hope you enjoyed that i love this painting i think it's amazing and i'm really really excited and looking forward to seeing what you guys create um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that so please once again any feedback that you have about um doing the recorded art classes the virtual art classes any feedback you can give me uh, in terms of what we're painting, how we're painting it, timing, all of that, let me know. It would really help me be able to make these better and better. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'll start the next painting uh, pretty soon. So, if you guys have any suggestions on something you want to paint, let me know and I can work on that. So, cool. Thank you.